All right, guys. Today I will do oil change, but I will do with one little experiment. At the moment, my car has one, two, nine, eight, nine, nine. So just say 130 kilometers, hundred and thousand, uh, hundred and thirty thousand kilometers. So on the clock. Uh, last time I've done I've changed was 123. So today what I'll do is I'll uh, replace oil. I'll uh, drain the old one out, then use air compressor with uh, around two set up two and a half bars of pressure and push uh, uh, old oil out of old system. See what's happening, uh, and then I will replace with the I'll, I will sacrifice this oil. I had like three and a half liters left. Where's that? Roughly. It's the, it says around three and a half. I, I have three little jars to put old oil. Then I will use this sacrificed oil with this DG. And uh, I think uh, it says e, uh, 109, which is for the engine's performance restorer. And I know they, that that one has very good reviews, and on, even on Russian sites they've been using, and it does the job. Then I will use two filters. So what I will do is I will drain old oil out, then uh, put fresh oil, uh, warm up engine up to normal temperature. Add this one before uh, before I obviously I put this oil. I'll add new filter, then drain everything out. Uh, drain everything out, put uh, uh, air pressure to, to push everything out, every oil, dirty oil out. Then I will use new oil, a new filter, and then for another six or seven thousand kilometers. So, okay, so what I'll do now is I'll get my tools, and uh, Kai is already on the ramp, not on the sense. You, ha you see, you have a pan, I will get tools. I will remove bottom plug and uh, drain all the oil out, remove filter, and I'll show what I'm gonna do next. Loosen this one up, 17 mil. Okay, old engine oil out. Dirty one, little sample, just to look how dark oil is, okay, and I have little napkin just to, to see, okay. All right, guys. That's the oil on the napkin. This old one. What I will do now is just uh, I put some as we get sacrifice oil. Oops, a bit too much. So, as you can see, nice and lovely. All right. Old filter is coming off. There you go. So now what I have here is air gun and uh, I've got this this one is like a bonus mount, it's like, it's like one of these. What I have done was I cut off and bit, then I drilled a just a little bit bigger hole because these ones have hole all the way through. So when I cut it off, I drilled a bit. So next thing is, I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. As you can clearly see, oil just 
engine oil just dripping in slowly. See, there's no nothing coming out. The next one is to put gun and I set up only two bars, so not too high and not too low. And I fit inside here. Let's try again with the en engine oil cap in. Hopefully, you can see. And Hopefully you can hear as air going in. I stopped, as you can see, oil stopped again. So you have an idea. So I will drain as much as I can. You can see oil coming out. And that extra noise is my compressor making some weird noises. You have an idea, okay. Now, sacrifice oil going in. There you go. And lubricate seal. That goes back on the car. Okay, hand tight. Okay, I'll open the cap. That's in. I'll pour fresh oil in and start the car. And uh, I let the car warm up until I can pour engine performance restorer. And then I'll let the uh, let engine run for another half an hour, uh, one and a half hours. So we'll see. All right, so I added three liters of engine oil. So it's nearly two o'clock, and there you go. <clears throat> All right, guys, engine is running uh, about 10 maybe minutes. I managed to start, but it died. So uh, engine is running around 10, maybe 15 minutes. So what I will do, I have a couple uh, papers. So uh, I will clean a dipstick, then I'll uh, put in uh, the, the uh, paper towel and clean again to make sure uh, that uh, also the fresh oil, uh, fresh engine oil mixing with the whatever is left in the system. So it will be like a bit darker or something like that. So what I will do now is like I will wipe it off with the one rag and then uh, dip in again, wipe it again. You can see it, it is a bit darker. So, okay, 
okay guys I had to shut the engine down so now what I will do is dip it back in again as you can see it's fresh engine oil mixed with the whatever is left so what I will do now is I put on a paper towel you see it's brownish but it's not that bad so what's next is I will start engine again and uh, put uh, engine restorer so that's old engine oil that's fresh engine oil and that's like in between as you can see it's not bad so we'll see how dark I would, this one will get after this engine restorer again as you can see it's all sealed there's nothing there you can see it's like a uh, high stinks and now what I will do is hopefully you can see it's my funnel and I will start engine again for like I will leave for another hour just to run maybe I don't know it said on the tin says like 10 minutes but I leave like for half an hour just say half an hour so we'll see what's happening okay all right guys I left uh, engine running for like 45 maybe 50 minutes so I was running about 1200 RPM all the next is I will drain oil again uh, use uh, air hose just to push whatever oil left in inside and uh, refill with the fresh oil uh, again I'll take a sample how it looks like after uh, using BG109 uh, engine uh, performance restorer so there we go okay engine oil is running out I'm filling this bucket in but it doesn't matter so as you can see it's quite dirty and it's very thin next thing I will remove oil filter I've just as you saw earlier, I emptied oil, fresh oil into into this bucket. So now, as you can see how dirty it is. It's very thin because it's hot. Okay, I put in this one. <clears throat> Little napkin. Okay, I will enter the Okay guys. This oil is with the seven thousand miles and that's what's left. This one is like fresh and see marks on the napkin. This one as well, you see that's that's fresh mixed with a little bit whatever left and it came up like this. So this one just came out as you can see and that's it. So I put this one fresh with the BG109 run for like 50 minutes and look what what color came out. So I would clearly can say that is this BG stuff is working very well and I know for sure that it's working very well because other guys and I've seen on YouTube other guys they used it and they had very good results cleaning engine 
I can't go inside and show it you know how it looks like before you know take your covers you know drain the engine that would take so so much and would be a uh, long uh, uh, procedure so just by pouring in that one you can see what difference is in the old oil which is 7,000 kilometers then you have uh, fresh oil uh, and fresh oil mixed with uh, leftovers of old oil and uh, fresh oil uh, run with BG 109 for a 50 minutes and that's what you have again 7,000 mile oil You can see it's a little bit better off. There you go. 7,000 kilometers. That's fresh oil. Very clean. That's old oil. Fresh oil. Fresh oil with old oil leftovers. And this one what's uh, with BG 109 fresh oil so as you can see I'll pour some some off it is very thin because that's whatever substance is in so as you can see it's very dark and so many engine sludge or I, would, I wouldn't say sludge because engine is Engine oil was quite clean when I bought it, and I think it was uh, when I bought before I bought it. The engine oil, oil was replaced, and then when I replaced a couple of hundred kilometers later, it was quite clean. So, and I always change oil every uh, say 5,000 to 7,000 kilometers. So, that's the proof. All right, guys, cheers. So, now next one will be fresh oil with a new filter. This one push and shell. I'm using five five thirty. So again, for another seven thousand kilometers, probably no more than that. And again, use I will use BG one hundred nine. So if you like this video, that was only like experiment. You know, I just I thought I'll try it to see for my own uh, perspective and for my own experience. So if you find this video helpful for you thumbs up if you didn't like it <laughs> thumbs down and please subscribe if you want to there will be more stuff coming uh, uh, over in the, in the in the future cheers guys bye